Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, I want to apologize for not posting a video last week. I had the worst stomach bug ever. I was violently sick. I couldn't do anything. I had no energy, um, but I'll spare everyone the details. But basically, um, things have just been crazy. My great uncle passed away, so we went to the funeral in Florida, and I came back and was hit with the stomach bug immediately after that. So. Um, I was not able to post last week. So this week I wanted to try out a um, bathroom scrubber. I've seen those on infomercials on TV and I just didn't know. They looked really good but um, those kind of things can tend to be really not very powerful so I wanted to make sure I wanted to go ahead and try one out for myself. I don't mind doing a lot of things around the house cleaning wise. I actually enjoy cleaning but the bathrooms I hate. So anything to make my life easier in that regard, I'm here for it. Um, I haven't used mine yet. I want to do a first impression on my channel about it. So it just arrived. Here it is. I will post it in the description below the link to Amazon where to get it. This is, um, there's one that goes around on TV and um, stuff like that and it's called the hurricane scrubber this is not that that one is about thirty dollars this one cost about fifty but the reviews on this were amazing so um, I figured I'd try it out so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it I already have unboxed it to be fair but um, I just wanted to show everyone what it came with alright so you get three main pieces this is the power head thing this is where the battery is and this is what you plug in to charge it. It comes with an extender piece, and this is called the Hommet, by the way. And then this is the head that holds the brush tip. And it's really nice. You can push that button and make it like turn or whatever. To attach the extender arm, you just lock it into place right, right there. It's very easy to lock into place. Mm. Well. <laughs> say that all right yeah okay there we go so it does get pretty long piece the top and the base will lock into each other to make it shorter it's just whatever you need and then to undo it this is actually a little bit difficult I will say to undo it you have to push this button and it, it kind of takes a little bit of effort to take off there but it's a good size. I like this size. They say you can clean the showers, the floors. One video even showed it cleaning the toilets. I don't think I'll be doing that because I just just doesn't seem too sanitary even if you clean the brushes afterwards. So it also comes with the charger, of course. The directions. It comes with four heads. The first head is this. This one, it's like a dome shape. So that's good for really anything. This is like a flat, big brush head. There's my hand like in comparison. And the bristles are stiff. That's a good one for like the shower floors. And it comes with a smaller one just like it. So in comparison, this is just for smaller areas. The bristles are a lot tougher on that one too. And then this one, which is really nice for like corners or um, shelf, shelves on your shower or whatever literally snap them on there so yeah it's pretty easy and then here's the power button I did take this out of the box and run it all the way I didn't use it but I just literally put on the power and run it all the way the batteries say to go ahead and exhaust the battery it does come with a little bit of charge I'm not sure if it was a full charge but I just turned it on and stuck it in my garage until it um, the battery went dead. So I plugged it in, charged it for overnight. It says charge it at least eight hours the first time. I think it charges in like four hours after that. So um, you just want to exhaust the battery first. I wanted to make sure I had enough battery to clean the whole bathroom. So I wanted to show you how long the battery lasts. I think that's pretty much it. It's got a full charge. So let's go see how it does. All right. So here is my husband's shower. Now I've mentioned he works with tires before. 
And this is how his bathroom looks if I don't clean it every week. He has grease on him every day. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. I only haven't cleaned the bathroom in three weeks, I think, at this point. And that is how it gets. So disgusting. Um, so, yeah, we're going to put the Hummet through the ultimate test. Comet with uh, bleach and the Method antibacterial spray. It's the bathroom cleaner. Um, I normally use Bonamy, but, or Bonamy, Bonamy, whatever it's called. I get that from the Grove usually. And that's what I use on my bathtub. But I'm out of that, so I'm going to be using the Comet for now. And I just sprinkle all over on all the little shelves. Okay. I do always wear gloves when cleaning the bathrooms just because it's so nasty. Oh, I hate cleaning the bathroom so much. Who else can relate? It's like the worst thing in the whole house to do. Okay, so right away you can see this thing really start to do some work actually. It really did impress me. I was skeptical about this to begin with, I'm not going to lie. These things usually don't work out like they claim they do, but um, once you get used to it rotating, this thing has some power, so once you get used to that rotation and working against it, you really are able to use it a lot better. Next, I went in with the little head. It really got in those small spaces really well, although at the end of the first use, it started to fray, as you can see, and that was a little bit disappointing. A cool thing about this tool is you can get replacement brush heads on Amazon, although with that being the first use on that little small brush, I don't think it should have frayed. Um, this is kind of an expensive tool, I mean $50, I don't usually spend that on a cleaning brush, but um, yeah, I don't think it should have frayed that early. Okay, so after washing it all off, it obviously did a really, really good job. I didn't have to go in with any other brushes or sponges or scrubbers, I used that the entire time. Um, I was able to easily replace the brush heads. So it did a really good job on this bathtub. Next, I took it to my master bathroom. This is where I take a shower. And I was able to film with one hand and then do the um, spin scrubber in the other hand. So that's definitely worth noting how light it is. It never bothered me. It never hurt my back. Um, as you can see, this shower is a nightmare to clean. It's got so many cracks and crevices, and it perfectly cleaned everything in there. After that, I cleaned my bathtub, and then I cleaned the countertops, and that was really nice just to go over it with the scrubber. Um, this is a new house. We just moved in it a year ago, and it was new when we got it, and you can tell there's so much like mold and gunk under that little stopper there. That really surprised me because I clean very regularly. I just haven't cleaned recently because I've been sick. So um, yeah, it's really crazy how much stuff this brush gets up. My channel is all about making life easier. I really think this thing does. Um, overall, I highly recommend it. I was able to clean my shower, my husband's shower, my bathtub, and my countertops all in one charge, and it's still going. I don't know how much longer it would go for, but I think this thing is definitely worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.